and Texas is getting hit by spring storms and hurricane season is upon us. The American Red Cross of the Brazos Valley is ready to help when storms hit. They need volunteers now more than ever. So like many things, the pandemic has changed how they recruit volunteers. Our sunny side tells us how you can safely learn more about the nonprofit and consider signing up. There's been a couple of weeks that I've worked more hours volunteering than I have at my full time job. The American Red Cross Heart of Texas chapter wants you to get to know them a little bit better. The organization is hosting a virtual event three times this week to answer all your questions you have about it, as well as encourage you to volunteer with them. So we really want um, people who are interested in volunteering to kind of get to know some of our other volunteers, get to know our staff, because um, 90, over 90% 90 of the Red Cross workforce is volunteers. As we approach again the weather season, we need more and more volunteers who are prepared, trained and prepared to go. So right now we're, we're trying to recruit more volunteers um, who can respond uh, to disasters, but also help in preparing, um, preparing and educating the community. The coronavirus has moved many parts of training for the American Red Cross to online courses. After those are completed, there will be in-person sessions to go out with an experienced volunteer for half a year. We will never put you in a situation where um, you're not ready for it. Um, so when, when the disasters happen, we are responding somewhat, you know, virtually uh, as we can, but um, should we have to go in person, we're providing, providing all of the uh, PPE and, and, and everything for our volunteers, but um, we also, it's part of the training process so that you follow along, uh, do ride-alongs um, with experience volunteers. The largest need for the American Red Cross chapter here in the Brazos Valley are people with a lot of time on their hands, especially if they have experience as first responders, nurses, mental health workers, and others who have worked with disaster response and emergency management. In College Station, Sunnyside, KAGS News.